Okay, it's on air. Uh, let's see if it's on the site. <laughs> well, hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> when he says action, yeah. So yeah, we can we can still camera, you know a is not working. yeah okay. just yeah. The the most important camera here is this one right here. <laughs> so the show is on. People are looking at us right now. Um, it's just we're not presenting the show yet. We haven't gotten into the show yet, right. which is fine. They can hear everything that I'm saying, which is okay. Because <laughs> the most important camera here is this one right here. Oh, when that says action, guys, for all of you that are listening, when I say action, that's when the show really starts. Showtime. All right. So we're still kind of, you know, uh, getting to where we need to be so you can access all parts of where we're broadcasting easily. So the so website is Hollywood.tv. Sure. Watch Hollywood. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, okay. So we got that. So let's try something else. There's always a little technical something, you know, that you got to you get past. Once we get past it, I always usually. Like, can you say my friends? Can I yeah. uh, text them? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. So I can, oh, you, 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 you can hold your phone. Now. I think we could. Yeah, it's more, and it's more live. Could, it's more, yeah. Like, Real, oh, I just yeah. let my friends know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, actually, yeah. no, 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 no. I have to call my mom up first. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> Can you see Mama? <laughs> You've been proud. Uh, I think so my mom is watching. Yeah, let's, go. <laughs> let's go to our page. I think she'd be so excited just if she heard that right now. Yeah. <laughs> right? <it> is. <laughs> All right. Uh, on air. Let's update our on air page so that those folks that are dialing in. Ari, Ari, in the podcast of what in a, in a what's Hollywood dot TV? Oh, you are live. But even but even I said so. Watch the lady Vlepo, Vlepo. Watch what? Yes, what's watch Hollywood. Hollywood. One word. Yes, one, yes. Me Alexis to watch Hollywood dot TV. All right, sweet. That's it, Mo. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, bye bye. Okay, yeah, we're actually we've actually been live for like thirty seconds. Oh, okay. Because I put a thirty second delay. Hey, look at you. Nice. My phone is fine. My phone said, "Yeah, how are you doing?" Oh yeah, totally. So um, we're starting for the seconds. All right, guys. We're still doing a lot of backstage stuff, so. Do you have time to call my brother? Yes. Oh, there we go. And then, uh, Periscope. is going to ask you to, um, go, he's going to ask you to record. Yes, yes. All right. Enable camera. That's it. And that's it. And watch. Okay, so Periscope is recording. Let's see. Let's it's go time. Yeah, yeah. Come on in. Lock the door. Come on in. Yeah, just turn it. I'll do it. Get in here. Are they watching? Yeah. Oh, they're already I'm already on. I'm on. That's so awesome. Yeah, you see? Now I'm talking to my brother. So camera two, camera one, camera three. Stay clear of those, this airspace, and, and you're fine. All right. Okay, so I'm going to mute this so we don't get any feedback. All right. Stephanie, are you ready? Mm -hmm. It's go time. It's go time. All right. Ah, let's have fun. Ah! Yes. <laughs> So I'm going to cue you. Camera's rolling. 
action and then we start all right so cameras rolling should get your head in, uh, in gear cameras rolling all eyes on camera cameras rolling and action hi i'm stephanie baklaan your host for the sixth episode of the internet's talk show on watchhollywood.tv Thank you for tuning in and good morning. Today I have a very special guest with us, Olympic gold medalist in artistic gymnastics, the ambassador of the Special Olympics, and the star of the play Sisyphus. Please welcome Giannis Melissanidis. <laughs> Hello. What an introduction. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I, it's such a privilege and honor to be interviewing you today. You're amazing. Thank you for having me. A plethora of talents. Thank you for having me. How are you? Well, I'm very, very exciting because all these uh, uh, efforts uh, for this Special Olympics, uh, especially you know for the athletes, but also what we uh, try to uh, to do during the Special Olympics, besides the activities of the sports, but with Sisyphus, we did very well. So I'm, I'm really, really happy and pleased. So we will speak about that. Um, okay, yes. well, well, we yeah. will get into that later. Also yes. later, we will be meeting uh, via Skype, the director of Sisyphus, Elpida Skufalu. But for now, we're going to get back to Giannis. So Giannis, uh, it is said, it is told, that you are the youngest male to win the gold gymnastics ever. At the Olympics. Ever. At the, at the Olympics, yes, sorry. Ever. Well, um, that was a really, really beautiful journey and very, you know, gymnastics, artistic gymnastics is one of the most um, difficult sports and one of the most beautiful sports at the same time. So I'm very um, uh, or, um, happy and very grateful to uh, from, to my coach, uh, Mr. Athanasios Kipnidis, and to my parents, and of course to my uh, people that they support this, you know, journey and the dream, that we made uh, we not just a gold medal, but uh, it was a record. That was the first gold for Greece in a hundred years, and we still have the record as the youngest male Olympic champion in the history of gymnastics on the floor exercises. still holds the record, everybody. You are considered a national hero. Yes, you are. <laughs> um, I have also read, let's get back to, you started this journey uh, when you were well, eight or just nine. Just a Do you know, for me, national heroes are the people that they sacrifice their life, literally, for the country. What I have done, it was my ethical duty to represent my country, and I'm very honored. But heroes and national heroes are those people that have sacrificed their lives for something, like also Madela from South America. From, you know, it's South mm -hmm. Africa, South sorry, Africa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so those people are really national heroes. We, what I've done, it was my ethical duty to represent my country. And Just, you did yeah. a very great, yeah. well Thank job you. doing so. Um, you've been doing this since you were eight, nine years old. Eight years old, yes. Um, I read, is it true, uh, that when you started and began gymnastics, you actually, your parents weren't very supportive of this <laughs> Not journey. Not at all. Not at all. He actually, is it true that you refused to eat for a few days yeah. on a hunger strike? Hunger strike. So yes. that um, in order for his parents to support him and to convince them that one, <laughs> that my passion for uh, gymnastic was uh, real, and w we made it. Uh, I convinced them after two almost two days of food uh, strike <laughs> that this is what I really want to do. And then voila! After 10, 15 years, we you know we got a, a triple trophy: European champion, world champion, and Olympic champion. So this is also a message to the parents, to some parents, that when they see their child, that they really have has a strong motivation for something. It's not just you know a crazy child that he's super active. They have to see something behind that. What is in this strong motivation of six years old or seven years old a uh, child? That's well, I think we once discussed the children are so intuitive and so innocent. So when they take on or they know they want to do something, you should support that because you they don't know any better. They don't know. Right. They that's just what they want to do. So that's exactly just what yes. you wanted to do. Yes. You yes. knew it. Yes. And look who you've become. 
It's amazing. Uh, I, I don't even know where to start. He uh, is an Olympic champion, Olympic gold medalist in 94 and 96. 96, the Olympics in Atlanta, here in, in this in country. In Atlanta, yes, yes, in the U.S. Yeah. Um, you have also, it is said that there are two elements on the vault that are named after you. Yes, and the first one was in 1998, two years after the first Olympics uh, in St. Petersburg, Russia. And we won the gold there. And then the second exercise that named I, after me was after the Olympics in Sydney in 2001 on the vault. So there are exercises like Nadia Kamenichi or Svetlana Kokina or Alexei Nemov. So when an athlete uh, has enough courage to execute a very difficult element, either European, World or Olympics um, Games, then the uh, International Olympic Committee, the International Feder Gymnastics Federation, um, name this exercise after uh, the, this athlete. What a privilege. Um, what an honor. What an honor, what an honor, honor. actually. Yes. yes, that's amazing. Yeah. So you. at what point did you, did you injure yourself? Did that stop you from pursuing in the Olympic field or pursuing being an athlete or what, what's, what happened? Well, when you, uh, you do uh, gymnastics or any you know, sports in, uh, in high level, in many injuries, uh, you know, <laughs> yes. Yes, it's like a natural <laughs> thing. Um, well, most of the uh, competitions are always, there was like either broken ribs. I did a World Cup with two broken ribs and I got a, a, a bronze medal. <laughs> I couldn't even breathe. My doctor said, you have to, uh, you, you, we, we, we can't sign that you can compete. I said, well, you don't have to sign. I'm going to compete no matter what. You know, you know, the athletes have this uh, Spartan heart. <laughs> you, 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 you grow up with this attitude. You are a fighter. You have to, you, you have to do it no matter what. And this is the beautiful message as well that uh, you, uh, you're, you're a, re a real fighter. And uh, so all these injuries uh, are uh, my, my medals. Like, you know, some you know, great grandparents, they say, well, this is from, you know, the oh, Second World War. Oh, it World. adds your character. It, yes, it, it brings right. your character. Yes, you absolutely. <laughs> I'm, very, I'm very proud for my injuries. I <laughs> <laughs> have painful, had my own. Yeah. Very painful. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I also learned, uh, well, let, let's talk about how did training after, after the Olympics, after training, and you went into, let's go into your acting. You trained at RADA, which is the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts, and also at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. In Los Angeles. In Los in Angeles. Yes. Uh, what years were those? Uh, well, um, in 2000, after the Olympics in 2004, you know, I decided to, you know, concentrate for my second passion, uh, theater, and uh, I had the privilege that uh, Irene Pappas, this reclaimed actress, international actress, uh, my mentor, my friend, uh, prepare me as a coach for, for giving the auditions either to Royal Academy and then to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. So a couple of years of, uh, of studies, but that, of course, a, a diploma or studying in one academy, another academy doesn't make you a, an actor. So that's why I do not concern at the moment myself an actor, but an artist that I'm flirting seriously with uh, theater. Okay. I, I mean, a diploma doesn't make you a good doctor. I mean, I, I am an athlete. Correct. I mean, I am an athlete for sure. But I'm flirting seriously with uh, uh, theater. I've been an athlete once. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was an athlete let once. Let me imagine diving, figure <laughs> skating because you look beautiful, or marathon. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. I actually uh, I did run a full marathon you made in it? San Francisco. Uh, barely, barely, barely making it. Oh my gosh, the journey through that. Um, 42 kilometers. I mean, I don't know, miles time. 24.6 uh, yes. miles. Well, that's... And no one was chasing me. <laughs> <laughs> I chose to do that. No um, water at some point, I guess. <laughs> Let, oh, yes. let's, let's go into a brief story real quick. Um, at 21 miles, there was no water station. And I literally started crying and like, <laughs> I'm going to die. And this gentleman from the crowd ran like scared me because he's running next to me fiercely holding a bottle of water and he gave me a bottle of water That's and beautiful. i was i i started crying even more and i'm like okay i got this continue running we get to mile 24 and right as i was approaching 24 there's chaos there's ambulance mm -hmm. all kinds of things 
Unfortunately, um, a, a gentleman who had been running in the mar marathon um, had a heart attack. Yep. Yes, yep. and and passed. Yep. And um, so as I'm approaching, you hear that somebody died. So for sure, I knew I was going to die. For sure, 24, I was going to die, and that was it. So I, my dramatic performance was. Why? But you made, it. you made it. I mean, this is the message. I mean, I mean, I made it. I made it. Beautiful thing that one person from the cloud, you know, uh, f you know, felt you all this, you know, determination that you had, and that was that close to, you know, finished. Uh, and it was that. for such a great and, cause. Yes, yeah. It was for AIDS Project LA, Beautiful. and so there was no way I was going to so fail everybody. Thank you very much. But that—that's my athleticism yeah. right there. Beautiful. So my my one question and my one interest is what motivates a person to go from an Olympic gold medalist to go into acting? Um, that's a good question. Uh, well, first of all, my the official name of my sport is not gymnastics, but it's artistic, artistic gymnastics. gymnastics. So the day one that I started gymnastics, I started also, I started also a classical ballet. So the piano, the classical music, you know, the, uh, the presidential, the, what, the way that you present yourself on stage, uh, on, on the podium, even those words that we were using, podium, stage, the same words that we were using, you know, on, in the theater as well. Um, th there are many common things and, you know, all this, you know, uh, focus that you have to have in order to, uh, to execute your routine, your performance in front of the audience. And our audience are different. They really have this quality, you know, of respect. I mean, of course, all the audience, they are good, great, but our audience in gymnastics, they have a, a, an extra flavor of artistry. Okay. And uh, of course, gymnastics is one of the most difficult sports, uh, flexibility, strength. It's the foundation, from my opinion, not only my opinion, uh, from all the sports. You need to have <laughs> in order <laughs> to be a gymnast. But at the same time, the judges judge the artistry and how great you are when, especially on the floor exercises. So all this artistry and theatricality were always uh, in, in, inside me. And be it Greek and theater is, you know, Greece, I mean, theater is birthplace. Yeah? Birthplace yeah. derived Birth, from right. Greece, yes. Um, always, uh, it, uh, I have this passion for the Greek tragedies, for the classics, the Shakespeare, Beckett, Brett, Tennessee Williams. Um, and then in 2004, that was the moment after the Olympics in Athens, I said, okay, now it's time for me to uh, study and give a shot and try to do something that are, are really, really like it. Where that will, you know, end up or whatever, we'll see in the future. But so far, I really enjoy this journey of, uh, of theater. Uh, it's beautiful that you um, learn so many things through all these great playwrights and all these characters. You, because you, in, in every single uh, character, even in Sisyphus, you can find many, many things of yourself that are deep, deep in, in, inside you that you never even have the courage to face them. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. So you had to dive, dive deep, deep, deep into your soul. To... It's, it's also a psychological uh, journey. I mean, you have to, uh, you learn. You learn more and more things about yourself. Sometimes it's very scary. So on this journey, it hasn't been a hop, skip, and a jump from going for, as an athlete to an actor because it actually is it's, one of the same yes, kind of yeah. rolls into Trans the yeah it's transformation or it, like it's not a jump in another field it's a, you just you, you grow and once and life is beautiful uh, because there are many colors and variety of uh, tastes and colors so um, this is how I see my life uh, either as an Olympian athlete either as an artist either as a um, you know, hacking or fishing or riding horses. I mean, this is the beauty of life, the, the, the variety. Very nice. Yeah. And what? be free spirit, uh, be free spirit and yes. respect the other people. That's I mean, you don't comes. necessarily have to lock down to one profession. I mean, that's that's the beauty of this industry or and artistic. Yes, yeah, is yeah. It all boils down to the same thing, though, is discipline, the commitment. Yes. Um, and your heart and your passion of what you do. So you could do in a plethora of things and have the same passion for all of it. Right. Um, and have the right people, the right ensemble of people um, around you that they can believe uh, or they, do, they will believe to the same, you know, uh, dream that you, you have. So that it's not necessary to have you know, many, like I had my coach, my parents, 
my physical therapist, and my ballet teacher. Four people, five people. In the theater, you can, you know, really connect it with one director or with one producer or some couple of people. But it's always good to have an ensemble of people that they have the same motivation and the same uh, dream and passion for um, to achieve something new and something higher and higher. Yeah, for your standards, not for this people, other people's standards. For your standards, when once that you complement yourself and you, you know, uh, put the standards very high, then if the people will, they like it, it's beautiful. But what do we do? We do it first for ourselves to satisfy our personal uh, needs. Without ego, it's a need. You need to be a playwright. You yes. need to be a journalist, or you need to be an athlete. It's your need. At least this is why how I. <laughs> And this is why why you are where you are right now. I mean, you're in a you're an amazing individual. You are. Um, you've done Hamlet. Um, in school, yeah. In, oh, in school. Yeah, in school. Okay, school. this is when you were at the perform. performing art, the dramatic arts. Yes, yeah. Well, you know, when you ask you're in school, you you do full productions oh, okay. of uh, different plays, and I was lucky enough to have great uh, professors and great teachers. And here in Sisyphus, uh, I was very lucky. Lucky, I was very fortunate that. Uh, one of my um, beloved uh, teachers, uh, uh, Mr. And Mrs. Haynes, uh, she's now the president of the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, where I was studying a few years ago. Okay. She came and and, and see in my my performance uh, on stage. Of you know, first. Well, yeah. I mean, when you have you know your teachers that you were you know you know teaching you about acting and about this and about that, having them now as in audience. It's, it's how it's proud are they beautiful. so yeah. proud and yes. that you can actually they've taught you something and you can share that with them yes. and you can all revel in the the success of what you've done and they've taught you so yeah. it's it yeah. it's a beautiful relationship it's beautiful and we owe I mean I owe everything you know to my coach to my parents and to my teachers from my high school primary school my university when I was studying back there in medicine and then Royal Academy and American Academy you know, without my professors, you know, they they you know they they inspire you. The core of your support. Yes. The core yes. of your support. I mean, I, everybody has to have a core of support somewhere. Right. And yes. I think, or or you're alone, and you don't really. It's 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 not. And you don't learn. Form. I mean, when you yeah, have, yes, yeah, yes. you only have great professors, great teachers, great mentors, then you grow as a person. I mean, every day you learn something. Absolutely. Uh, every day is a growing. It is a work in progress. So. Absolutely. I commend you. Yes. Um, let's talk about a little bit about Sisyphus. Um, before we get into that, I don't know um, when are we going to connect with Alpita. Should we connect with her shortly? Okay. Um, let's talk about Sisyphus anyways. Mm -hmm. The difference. What was different for you doing Sisyphus um, compared to the other productions that you've done? That was a big, big challenge. <laughs> it was uh, this play inspired by Samuel Beckett and... You know, Samuel Beckett is very avant-garde, uh, dark, with full of light. <laughs> I'm a playwright. Um, the the uh, the the challenge for me was this: uh, you have to do this play. You have to deliver a story uh, with a wordless, without using uh, um, you don't uh, uh, words. <laughs> Outwards at all. Yeah, but not as a mimic or, yeah, you have to deliver the story and the drama of the story and the tragedy of the story uh, without using words. And great actors uh, like Vanessa Redgrave, uh, um, uh, I think also um, Julian Moore and Randy Pika Key in Greece, uh, uh, great actors and actresses have, have done this piece. And um, it is a, you know, for an actor having words, it's you know you can deliver. You, They've the done tools. the piece with words. No, no, no without no, words. As without well. words. Okay, okay. Acting without words. Okay. So using words in Hamlet or in Lectra or Antigone or Shakespeare or whatever, uh, you can deliver the story. I mean, it's it's not easier, but you have words. You have your tools that you can use them and deliver the story to the audience. Uh, but without using words and deliver a, a dramatic story. Uh, uh, with also some comedian elements, and you know, with a crescendo of a, 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 a tragedy, with tra tragedy, it's not easy at all. It's not easy um, at all. I have a chat question coming in from um, Aris Valisidis. Uh, I guess he, that sounds like a Greek name to me. <laughs> well, <yes. laughs> um, he is asking how well timed are ancient Greek myths nowadays. 
So I guess he wants to know how well timed the play is, or how the duration you, of the play. Yeah, duration of the play. Well, the duration of the play is about uh, forty minutes. Uh, it's, uh, it, it sounds uh, just forty minutes, but it's very, very intensive. And this is uh, during the QA, uh, you know, the, the, uh, that we had with questions and answers with, yes. with the audience. Um, they they were really uh, in, impressed and. They were kept asking me. I mean, how are you available to do the second performance? And then, because it's it, it's it's really powerful, um, physically and above everything, and mentally. Because as I told you, you you have to deliver this this tragic uh, story uh, without using words, without words, and without exaggerate. You know your pain or whatever your your loneliness, because it's theater. It's like it's a real a real thing. And Sisyphus uh, is a very powerful um, uh, symbol and metaphor uh, of this internal effort that every human being does in life, facing this Shakespearean uh, dilemma and question to be part of the game of life or to not be part of the game of life. And uh, our approaching, and then Alpida, she will say more things about that. Uh, that's uh, it starts like a game like you're a child and everything is nice and you enjoy that because a game but then <laughs> it's it, it is transformed into hell and uh, and it, from hell to tragedy and it's really um, powerful and then you have two choices either to accept the rules of life like to be part of the game or to stand up with full of dignity and say no is enough is enough at least this is the way that I approach my my character and my role mm -hmm. doing my homework. Right, right. Uh, it's 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 daily life. You yes, know, it's it's, uh, yeah, it's it's it's, it's, daily it's, life. it's daily life of your choices yes. Yes. that you make, and the the choices of moving forward, giving up, yes. moving forward, or giving up. Right. Well, for example, yeah. some French philosophers approach Sisyphus in a different way that. I approach my character, so they break it. Well, for them, it's like this as a symbol of of life, of doing something in a daily basis. Or um, you have something to do. So when you have something to do, and there is a, 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 a there is a, a mobility, then there is life. Yeah, but what kind of life? What quality of life? You prefer that torture if your choice. <laughs> well done. But or you prefer to stand up and say no, and whatever is that. So it's like the the the, the coin with the two options. Okay. So that's the one way of reading the story. But the other way, that was the way that I approached my my current therapist first. Interesting. That's the beauty of I mean of art. I mean of freedom of uh, uh, the freedom, huh? The freedom. Freedom. The freedom. No freedom, freedom of speech. Just the freedom. freedom. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> let me let me back up. Let me back up just one moment um, and and let the audience know that Sisyphus came to Los Angeles, um, a U.S. premiere, I'll say, uh, with Elpida Scufalu. They performed at Theater 40 in Beverly Hills for the Special Olympics. All proceeds, 100% proceeds, went to the Special Olympics. From my side and my dear, Yes, my and, director and side. director's side. Um, so I'm, that, that is amazing right there that you actually gave back to the Special Olympics. Um, I heard some of the um, candidates in the Olympics, some of the kids showed up and surprised you. That was one of the most beautiful moments uh, in my life. It was, you know, a beautiful surprise that, uh, you know, a play that we dedicate to the Special Olympic athletes. And like 20 of them, they were on there. And of course, I called them to come on stage. And my God, it was so beautiful. This purity of love and innocent on stage the rest is just you know our vanity or our ambitious but those people it, it's uh, a live example of how we have we, we, we must be as human beings we have to use them as an example how we have to be on stage or in, in life so the rest i mean Sisyphus, shakespeare um hollywood or broadway or theater beautiful yes it's 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 life is a part of life but the foundation of everything is love, love. sharing, respect, and purity, innocence. Yes. That's amazing. And thank you. Thank you, Special Olympic athletes, the Americans, the Greeks, all over the world that they honor us too when they come to, came to see the performance. 
I think that's beautiful. Yes. Just in yes. itself was beautiful. Just beautiful. Beautiful. Thing. I and that you would heart. do that. Yes. If there were more people like that, <laughs> like yourself. You know, it's good when you do a performance. I mean, this is something that I, I, I will have re literally in my, in, my, in my mind in the upcoming performances. I mean, it's nothing to dedicate or and donate your first performance to something, to the special Olympic athletes, to the old people or people that suffer with cancer. I mean, it's it's a very, um, it's, 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 it's love. I mean, it's yes. sharing love. It's the humanity. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, I think we are trying to Skype in with Elpida. Yes, at the moment. Athens. <laughs> Athens. Yeah. I'm so, wish I was there. <laughs> Birthplace of democracy, Athens. Huh? Yeah. Couple of things now with the crisis, with financial crisis, but you know, we're strong enough to to, to face it and we can, we're going to make it. I mean, you know, economy oh, comes and goes. Pause the audience. Yeah, just tell them we're going to be right back. We're going to take a moment uh, and we'll be right back with Elpida. Okay. <coughs> oh my God, I had a cough so bad. We're still live. <coughs> okay, we're still live on the webcams. Uh, so we're going to play some musical chairs. Yep. Okay, this way. rise. Uh -huh. uh, step down from the stage, watch your head, watch your step. We're going to just shift these chairs Mind around the so we can get Elpida in the uh, picture. I love that everything is live. <laughs> yep, no yeah. secrets here. Yeah, everybody knows everything. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you need help? Oh, no, I'm yeah. good. All right. We have to have specific ways we gotta set this thing up. Hi, Peter. We're just Hello. getting you I into. Hello. I see you. I see myself. Yeah, we're getting you into the picture. <laughs> okay. Is that fine with the lights? Yes, yes. Now, yeah, now it is. Yes, much better. Let me get more decent. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to do some camera yes. checks. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Sure yes. That. How you want? Right. That uh, sounds fine. Uh, the sound sounds great. <laughs> yeah, it sounds great. Yes. All right. Uh, let's see what do we look like. On so a few minutes more and right. we will be with you, I'll be there. Just continue to Paris. Hi, how are your friends right now? Hi, friends. Hello, Mama. I love you, Papa, my brother, my sisters, my little babies there, my nephews. Say hi to my mom. Hi to Stephanie's mom. Hi Stephanie's mom. <laughs> She's gorgeous. Okay, Steph, can you have a seat right there, Stephanie? Yes, I Stephanie. will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just make sure you're on camera one. And um, well, you're, I know you're in camera one, but just uh, hold on one moment. All right. Okay, Steph, step down from the stage. Oh, I didn't. Uh, shift things about a little more. Bring you into the scene. The audience is lucky because for now they have a behind the scenes live okay. show. Go ahead and sit down but this Stephanie. does go into an edited show yes. for review later. <laughs> I may need to bring. Oh, I, I think Oops. you're good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt camera one. one. You're definitely in camera two. And let's tilt camera one so we got a complete picture. <clears throat> Behind the scenes, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you have this extraordinary privilege. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite amazing. Yes. Brilliant. <laughs> I would not have a cup of tea. I know. I know. Well, when we get our, when we get our cups, our water yeah. cups. Oh, then we can a have a drink. But for now, we'll just be <laughs> Did you want to get a drink? <laughs> Do you, would you like a bottle of water? Um, Do you yeah. Do we have do, one for get, just a bottle of water? Yeah, sure. one will be great. Okay, I'll, I'll get water. Water. <laughs> water! It was also, you know, a part of our performance in Sisyphus. That was the powerful, I mean, I, I, I saw it, yes. to reach the water. The bottle yeah, of the water. The bottle of water. Yes. That was the, you know, the crescendo. Do so you feel like you're in Sisyphus right now? Well, I'm thirsty. I'm on the water. Help us. 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 Help us.
won't have lives. <laughs> Well, it's so cool. Yeah, yes, yes, please. Oh, <laughs> that one. Thank you. <laughs> that's like sister, but he can't get it. Yes. <laughs> Cheers to our audience. Cheers. And to Elpida, to Greece. And Cheers, and to the you. People here, and to Cheers, you. Elpida. Cheers, Elpida. It's, it's an honor and having you. Cheers. And to the United States. <laughs> oh, right. wonderful. Thank you. I was parched. Yes. <laughs> well, because of your life. I felt like nice. we're. I felt like I'm in a marathon. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, right. All right, everyone's in camera two. Camera one is a go. Yep. All right. Two, one, three. Great. All right, so we're going to get back in the recording mode. Elpida, how is the weather? How is the weather there? How is the weather in Greece? Uh, it, it, it's quite hot. It rained a little, uh, like I mean, like a little storm. I think it's fine. It's fine. Yep. It's winter, a bit. <laughs> it's winter in Greece. No, no, it's, it's a joke. Oh, it's I was joke. like, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Rain, yeah, just a little. <laughs> but it's pretty much the, the the temperature in Greece. I mean, in nothing's like here in Los Angeles. It's about oh, 30, yeah. 30, 32 degrees. Which means 90, 94 uh, Fahrenheit. 92. Oh, it's nine. pretty hot. Yeah, yes, yes. Oh. I prefer the temperature in Los Angeles. Because it's more dry. It's more dry. But not the air condition. I mean, we're, we're <laughs> you know, you are in Los Angeles. Everything is, you know, in air conditions. Uh, wherever you go, uh -huh. you need like an extra uh, to, jacket to go into places. Yes, yes. You know, outside it's hot. I mean, nice and warm. And inside, you need a, a winter jacket to cover you your can, body. You can catch pneumonia <laughs> yes, here. <yeah. laughs> yeah, either in the movie theater or in the theater or supermarkets. I always have a sweater. Um, yes, I I seem to be always cold. It's All ridiculous. Right, so we're start recording. Welcome back. Cameras rolling. And action. Hi, and welcome back to watch hollywood.tv the internet's talk show we have alpita skufalu the director of sisyphus with us via skype from athens hello Yay. hi Grace. love to be with you but uh, next time i promise I will, I will be live on the show <laughs> yeah, oh we hope so we would love yeah it would even yes. be better we would love to have you very good <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> She's hard. Okay. She's Can hard. Hello, <laughs> Hello Alpita. How are you? Hello, Stephanie. <laughs> nice to have you with us. Everybody is asking me uh, why Ioannis and uh, why not somebody else. Uh, Shall I answer that question or not? Will you please? Because that was actually one of my questions. Okay. <laughs> I believe that uh, an actor is always uh, a volcano ready to, to explode. And uh, this is a real talent. So when working with actors, you look forward to that. You don't look forward to a mountain, you look forward to a volcano. Uh, you are, as you can uh, perceive, and he has, and, uh, he's in a very good shape, he has an excellent body, and he can do everything with his body. This is not the case. The thing and the talent of Johannes uh, is the mind. In order to be a good actor and uh, do the characters, do the roles, you need to have a, a, a mind and a soul which can be transformed. And uh, uh, this is the important thing with Johannes. Uh, it's not the body, it's the mind. Yeah, but parentheses, <laughs> I had a great 
a director slash teacher and leader Scrufalo. We know each other for many years. Tough, and this is what I love. She's really, really tough. We are friends outside of the stage, outside okay. of the theater, but okay. she's really, really tough. And I can trust her a hundred percent. So she literally uh, it takes everything that I have from inside me, from my heart, from my soul, and uh, can bring them on stage. So I can when trust you her. So it's, it's like I told you, it's an ensemble of work. Uh, uh, she, Your core support. Well, I can't. I, I couldn't do Sisyphus without her. I couldn't be an Olympian athlete without my coach. I couldn't perform th that well without Alpina. So thank you, Alpina. <laughs> bravo! <laughs> bravo! You, bravo. you killed me. Here. <laughs> how how long has your relationship been uh, together? I read that you did Sisyphus in London in 2012, correct? Yes, during the Cultural Olympics, yes. Oh, okay. So is that when you built, built first built your relationship, or? No, the relationship, I, 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 I fell in love with you I was 20 years ago, I mean, 20 years ago. So it goes uh, uh, She means to uh, very far. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the first one that we did together was Icarus in the National Theatre of Delphi. Oh. Actually, I was, uh, I, I don't watch a lot of TV, but uh, like 18 years ago, I was watching TV. And I <laughs> did she say 80? 18. Oh, 18. Yeah. Something for the Olympics, and I said, this would, 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 be, would be my next Icarus. My brother, told me, are you nuts? I mean, this guy, he's nothing. Is, is he going to work with somebody who starts, uh, I mean, uh, uh, directing? I said, yes, yes, because uh, he has a spirit. And, and, and that's, that's how we uh, got together. And in that time... In order to work with somebody, uh, it, it's important to be in love with him. Uh, because uh, the, the, the important thing in theatre is uh, to, uh, to find a way to reveal the internal beauty of a person. So, uh, the love is always, uh, you watch the eyes of uh, the other. And this is the way, uh, it's a, a nice way to work with somebody. Love and trust. Love and trust. Yeah. Yeah. Love and of trust. Yeah. Is this... Is this uh, when you met? Were, were were you just watching him as an athlete? Were you just an athlete? Were you not yet into you know, most of the? I mean, people they say, well, I just. I mean, as I told you before, it is artistic gymnastics. It's not just a sport. You know, you have done many it's, years it's of dancing. classical ballet. Yes. So once that you you know you do classical ballet, it's not just you know you're strong as an athlete. You you can dance gracefully, and uh, all this artistry that you have inside you with the right people, with the right directors that they know their job very well, then you can work together and you can share all these beautiful things and then they can, you know, just uh, bring them on, uh, on stage. But, Bill, I, but I, I deeply believe that everybody has an artistry inside, inside them. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Some less, less, some more. Yeah. When, you, when you said, this is the guy, do you, was that your first meeting? When, wh how was that introduction? No, 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 I just saw him on TV. I, I, I go very often to the Archaeological Museum and um, in our culture I adore like, uh, I mean, uh, Santorini's, um, uh, there are some ancient bodies, some ancient statues. So Ioannis uh, was like an ancient statue. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. I like I like to hear it again, but I pretend that I could. Uh, let's be humble. <laughs> What, uh, not only in, uh, in the Greek uh, as philosophy, but also in the Sufism, uh, what uh, the great poets say that um, uh, um, the body is a door which opens uh, and the way to the beauty. So we start from there. And uh, you find the path to reveal the internal beauty. So when did the exact introduction happen? In 1997. 1997. 1997, yeah. Um, 18, 18 years ago. Okay, yeah. and how did that in Athens, you know, there was enough. He, he was quite a tough cookie because it, 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 it <laughs> took me like uh, three months to burst through everything to, to get to the point. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. I want to know how this happened. <laughs> 
guys. <laughs> yes. yes, so I hear. So when you met him then, let's let's talk about the journey together. Let's talk about yes. when you you knew what you wanted and you went after it. And what yes. was the convincing moment? What was the moment that Giannis was like, I'm I'm in, I'm in. we're I'm gonna in. do this. You know what, in order to say yes, there is not a convincing moment. I think that always in art and in business also, you have to trust and risk and you have to believe this is art. You don't believe the words, you believe what's, what, what is behind the words. So uh, uh, I had uh, things in mind. Also, uh, Ioannis, uh, uh, he saw something in me or he believed something behind my words and uh, okay. we started our uh, journey. And, well, and, and it's, the, it's the match. It's it's you know the, the match. And when uh, the proposal or the idea is powerful, and two brains can connect it, then you know everything starts with a to little fall fire. into place, and yeah. it starts to fall into place as yeah. it should. Uh, let's talk about Sisyphus. Let's talk about um, a play without words. <laughs> Sisyphus was a great experience. Sisyphus was a great experience in Los Angeles. To tell you the truth, great because um, I mean, uh, it was a great success. The European audiences can understand, but I was not sure about Los Angeles because <laughs> I, I know <laughs> Tennis Williams playing. <laughs> Uh, but they loved it. it. But, you know, theater is always theater, and, and good theater is always good theater. So that worked. And so your character, your character is based on um, you actually cheat the gods, is what happens. Yes. You death. cheat death. Actually, yeah. you cheat death, which is cheating the gods, and it angers them. Well, yeah, because once that you you know cheat, I mean death, then. Uh, basically, uh, is a big question because evil without gods. I mean, in case this is the way that I'm reading the story, then why would have to have you know gods? Because most of the religious are uh, based on the fear of death. So if there is death, then you you have to believe to my God Jesus or Muhammad or whoever. Mm -hmm. So then I can manipulate your opinion. So the more fear you have, the easiest is to manipulate your brain. But the more knowledge you have, you're fearless. So if you're fearless, why well, have to believe in God? Or why well, I, I can question mark, there is God or no God? I mean, because you're not going body. to die. Oh, well, yes. You're not going to die, so, and so there's no God to tell God. you that. Yeah, yes, because so that means that you're not the God that you want me to believe you on you, but I'm the one that I'm ruling my life. So yeah. a forty minute play without words being punished by the gods, yes. and it shows the torture, the pain the agony and also the with comedian so there's some comedian comedian elements with well. com of, of yes. and, and and how you go about i mean you, you have to put every single emotion outside of yourself well, a few that can say more about it because you know there are some very some powerful moments so uh, you're the boss are you there? Yes. I would like to say yes, that the important thing uh, the, the important thing was that uh, uh, we did not work on the stage. The important thing was, was action. So it was the universe that he could create behind the words. And this is very interesting for, for, for every actor. Uh, when I go to theater, I want, I go for the trip, I go for the journey, and the actor has to create a universe, and then I travel with him. So we worked a lot on that. Uh, something else that, that I would like to say is that the importance of myth. Uh, Los Angeles, uh, that adores myths, is Hollywood. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yes, you know, we no, no. have a solution to another interpretation uh, beyond their everyday lives. 
So, uh, uh, because people search for a meaning uh, more than the everyday life, more than work. This is the mm. this is the necessity of myth. This is why myths we are still alive. Yeah. Yeah, and this is yeah. why the uh, uh, Greek uh, ancient philosophy survived because we need myths. Sisyphus is the myth together and together. You know, there is a beautiful film, Thomas Crown Affair, and a, a very beautiful song. The witness yeah. of my mind, which yeah. talks about the circles. In this performance, we're talking about the circle of life, uh, the uh, the the way you know of time. Uh, I, I will lose, and I will try again and again, because the the the, the meaning of life is life itself. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't have said it better. <laughs> That's it. We have guys, Superman. We have Hercules. You know, <laughs> yes, it's, it's, yeah, myths are necessary, are necessary in, in, in our lives. We yeah. like, we like the little fairy tales and stuff. So. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit fairy tales, but you know, there, there is a, a, a truth underneath. There is a truth underneath because, you know, we, the human beings, uh, you know, uh, create these, uh, uh, those characters, those myths, because they are inside us. That's why we connected with the theater. We go to see a play because there is a connection between the audience and the you know the actors and the, above everything you know, the playwright who writes the plays. Uh, we we see a part of our characters uh, uh, through you know the, the through the actors that you know transform and uh, transfer this message of, the, of theater. And your audience in, in Los Angeles was We're astounding. Really the, audience, the audience was great. Was Amazing, great. As yeah. you say, Los yes. Angeles, awesome. <laughs> yes. It was awesome. Yes, yes. And very well educated. Awesome. Really but well educated. I've like, I, I loved a lot of Los Angeles. And, I mean, and you know what? I, when I said it's, it's a city that believes in myths, I'm, I'm telling you about, let, let's say Venice Beach. Okay, there is a muscle beach. No worries about it. I mean, people need to believe in something. And uh, also in Los Angeles, people travel in time. Uh, there is downtown LA. There is uh, uh, West Hollywood. And you are smiling and people. You are smiling Rose. people. We're full of <laughs> life. We love you guys. Uh, you know, <laughs> he makes walking every day. And I'm, talk I'm, and I'm not talking about stars. No, people who want to, to be others because they, they need that. They yeah. need the transformation. So I, I, inspiration. I think it's, it's, inspiration. It's, it's a, uh, I mean, a very flexible. I mean, Los Angeles is a city very flexible to me, even in clubs. Although Johannes did not take the, the club, but <laughs> <laughs> after uh, the but performance, okay, <laughs> anyway. But there is this mythology. I mean, you have you have to look to these things. How long were you They're here? How long were you in Los Angeles? Just just three weeks. Just three weeks. One before, some people just leave. And when, when are you returning? Um, uh, well, you know, I, I'm gypsy by choice. Oh, I, yeah. I do the performance again, and I would love to. Yes. Uh, I really love LA, uh, although I'm not going to stream there, but, you know, now I'm walking. <laughs> uh, well, you know, <laughs> some little fishes. <laughs> Only in Davis. I'm not staying other way. I'm not staying other way. Los Angeles. No, I really, I'd love to come. Um, uh, I mean, this was a very small production. It wasn't even full production for this, and it was a two-day, two-day yes, yeah. um, showing. Yeah. So we're literally yes. trying to do the full production. Uh, we, so do we uh, have? Do we have maybe um, any insight if we're coming back? Um, I, I think we're working on that. Uh, people were satisfied, so we give a big try because I am. In full I production, yes, yes, yes. yes. And that's we thought that I mean the audience, they, they, they really, they really loved it, and there were you know people that they love theater, people from the theater, people from the industry, directors. There were we had film directors, uh, uh, we had uh, uh, Randall Plazer was there, Valerie Masalas was there, uh, Chuck, the director of the movie Musk, uh, was there. Oh, so we really uh, the ambassador of Greece was there. I mean, there are people that they love theater, people from the theater, people from the industry, 
And uh, as Elpita just uh, said, uh, we, I mean, we were not in New York or in San Francisco or in London. So we're expecting that, you know, the people in Los Angeles, they love more movies or TV. No, this is a another myth. People <laughs> love, in Los Angeles, love uh, theater and they do love um, a, a, a good theater that can provoke uh, uh, the brain. And it's, it was a beautiful experience. And yes, guys, we, I, we promise you we'll come back. And Sisyphus is just that, actually. Sisyphus has, you, you got rave reviews on what an art performance, what an excellent art performance piece that was. That was great, you know, after all this effort that uh, I and Elpida, and uh, we re literally, it was a, a lot of effort <laughs> backstage uh, to, 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 to perform the uh, Sisyphus, Sisyphus here in Los Angeles and receiving these amazing reviews and from the Broadway world, yes. uh, from this excellent uh, critic review that says that it was a, a, a masterpiece or an excellent piece of an art. An excellent piece well, of art. Thank you yes. so much. Yes. Yeah, thank you. I mean, we don't do theater for the reviewers. We don't do theater. I mean, at least we do theater because we, it's a need. Uh, I love theater. But th those people, when they can connect with you and they they give this great review, it's, it's a beautiful um, er erotic match. You know, don't take me wrong, but it's you know in a in a, in a um, philosophical way of uh, the, the this eroticism is the perfect match. Audience, critics, and uh, director, actor, it's a perfect match. Yeah. Do you um, have any intention? This was your U.S. premiere, correct? Was, this was your only showing in the U.S. Uh, thus was, far. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, do but we, not the full production. Uh, uh, yes, just the small was just, production. Yeah, like just was, for yeah. the the on behalf of the Special Olympics. Yes, yeah, we did some changes because we had a limitation, so it's not the full production. So we are uh, willing, and we most probably will we, do it. Do you again. have an intention to come to San Francisco or to go to New York? Or she's from San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> she's asking you. Yeah. you know. <laughs> Because you know, uh, you know, especially Los Angeles is very open, and you know, theater is a form of art which uh, always very live and can change. Yes. That's why I, lo I, I love theater. I am it's so. Yeah. I am. So so honored to have you both here today. Thank you for having us. I, I I'm sometimes us. some somewhat speechless because you guys are so amazing. Um, I hope that Sisyphus comes to Los Angeles. Follow you both, but I'm going to be on you yes. to get this done in Los Angeles. All right. We, <laughs> we will that find you a theater. Yes. If anybody out there hears that. Of ice cream in San Francisco. And, and <laughs> yeah. say that again. Say it again. We'll have a scoop of ice cream in San Francisco. Oh, after the performance in San after Francisco. After the performance. And we'll walk across the Golden Gate Bridge just for kicks with That'll our ice cream. Nice. Yes. I've never been there. Yes. <laughs> yes, we those beautiful things. Thank you very much for joining us today. And thank you, everybody out there, joining us on WatchHollywood.tv, sixth episode of The Internet's Talk Show. I'm Stephanie Baklan signing off. Thank you very much. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> We're champions. <laughs> We're champions. Awesome. And we cut yes. that live air, everybody. Oh, live. Live. Going. <laughs> live. Live feed, I and we are off. <laughs> are we, are we, off? Are we off the We're live feed? <laughs> <laughs> Can we grab a couple pictures with Elpita, please? Oh, yeah. Do you mind? We're, we're going to take some photos with you in the back so we have you with us. Oh! Yeah, don't worry. Just face your camera, face your uh, the screen of your laptop, and you, you look beautiful. Yeah, if you just stay there and smile, we'll take a picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, like Joconda with that Mona Lisa. <laughs> All right. Uh, with your, so you're gonna send all these pictures. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. we're gonna. Oh, yeah, it's all, right. gonna be, it's all over. All right. We got it. You don't have Instagram. No, I'm not setting yet, you but up. I will. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm setting him up. <laughs> I have a fake Jonas. Thank you very much for everything. Eh? 
You're very yes. welcome. Yes. And when you do come into Los Angeles, we will definitely have you on the show. So please let us know when your next visit is. Okay, please and just one supervisor. Just one. <laughs> Only <laughs> one? <laughs> Only <laughs> one? One a day? No joke. <laughs> or per hour? Um, say cheese, Elpita. We're all taking a group say photo. Say oh, tell her to say cheese. Say. Don't, 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 don't go anywhere. <laughs> and pila perimene, perimene. No, wait, just wait. Just say cheese for uh, the next, you know, 30 seconds. Just cheese. <laughs> yeah. Smile. No, we, we take some photos. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> All right. Can or, we cut the live feed? <laughs> or feta cheese. You know, Greek feta cheese, huh? Feta I'm cheese. so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Great. All right. Thank you so bye, much. Again, Have a good guys, weekend. Bye bye. bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Stephanie Baclan. Yonis. And me. Elpida. Our dad over there. Hi. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next time. Stay Peace. Tuned for the next podcast. Peace, guys. Bye. Oh, check it out. Check us out on Facebook.com forward slash Watch Hollywood. You can check it out. Check us out on Twitter. That's uh, Twitter.com. You know, or at watch underscore Hollywood and just search Google watch Hollywood you'll find Instagram it. at watch Hollywood there you go yeah. <laughs> okay bye 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 guys <laughs>